My name is Taylor Scar, Provincial Forest Entomologist with the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources. We're looking at branch sampling here, which is a technique for surveying for emerald ash borer. So the technique is to cut two branches from the mid canopy of the tree, strip the bark off the basal 50 centimeters, and look for the larval tunnels. So Pat Hodge, our forest health technician for the Minister of Natural Resources, is going to demonstrate the technique developed by the Canadian Forest Service for branch sampling for emerald ash borer. Okay, so we've taken this branch down uh, from the mid-section of the crown uh, where emerald ash borer does prefer to feed on uh, branches of this diameter. It's best to take 75 centimeter cut off of the basal uh, end uh, of, the, of the branch. So you want to look at uh, the entire branch for any signs or symptoms of emerald ash borer. A sign is uh, any physical damage in the tree that the insect has caused. A symptom is the tree's reaction to the insect. The idea here is to whittle the first 50 centimeters of, of, that, of, the, of that branch that you've taken down. And to do that, you can simply scrape away the outer layer of bark. While you're doing this, you're looking for any signs, any cracks, any exit holes from the insect itself. And I'm not seeing any. So we're going to slowly start to whittle this branch with thin slices. We're looking for larvae that have hatched from a tiny egg that may be very small within any layer of this material. The insect feeds in between the sapwood and the phloem of the tree, this being the sapwood here, and so that's the layer that we're focusing on. What we're looking for is the galleries that the larvae of the emerald ash borer create when they're feeding just under the bark uh, of ash trees. So these galleries are uh, typically serpentine or, or S-shaped as, uh, uh, as they're initiated and as populations become larger they become much more random and, and then cover the entire uh, cambium layer of, uh, of the tree. We found another small gallery created by an emerald ash borer larva more than likely this summer and, and this is exactly what this survey uh, is used for to detect these these very early on uh, infestations uh, on ash trees. This serpentine gallery is the initial beginnings of an infestation. If you suspect that you have found emerald ash borer and you're not in an area that's known to be infested by the insect, then you should contact the Canadian Food Inspection Agency or the Ontario Minister of Natural Resources to report it. And you can do that by uh, contacting the local office or by going to their websites or by going through the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters Invasive Species Hotline or website to report the discovery of emerald ash borer.